Hey there, Cancer. Welcome into this message. Thank you for being here, and I do hope that you are well in this time. Thank you so much for liking the video, for sharing it with those you love, and for subscribing to the channel. Your support is abundantly appreciated. So, upon shuffling, I got that something is going to make you very happy. It's a new beginning in love here, a new connection, possibly. Right, look at you here. I feel you're hot, you're excited. You may be anticipating this connection, but you feel attractive or radiant, vibrant. I feel you feel confident here. The energy that is over here, this is the one that's coming in to make you happy, you know? All right, so the Nine of Cups is extreme happiness. It's like your dream come true. The energy behind you is just this subtle excitement or anticipating it's anticipation it's like mm, your wedding day but you're holding in all that all the feelings of happiness and you're admiring someone in particular that i feel you love and you could be ready like open to this connection okay hot something hot something hot a hot connection so maybe at this point it's not love it's desires maybe you want to get creative you're dreaming and visualizing the things that maybe that's what you're doing cancer the things you want to do so this person the king of cups that's coming in to make you happy they really focused on something like getting there, sending you messages maybe, I feel, communicating with you. And it's, it's messages coming through their hearts. I love the energy of this person. I don't know if you've met yet. Maybe this person is the one that's sending you these messages. That's making you feel like um, excited the words that they're speaking it's coming from their heart you know it's like a bow a gift onto you like someone sending you a song saying this is how i feel about you listen to this song it's an energy of love when you hear this it makes you feel good i feel like this person eventually would like to um be with you um, probably propose to you look soulmate vibration and this union is going to bring a lot of well-being you know this person could be past soulmate or past love and it's not an ex it just feels like a person that you have a, a soul a soul connection with and it's felt both ways both of you even though it's different signs it's water and fire we've been seeing this pattern water and fire and look at this even though it's water and fire both of the, the king of cups and the queen of wands are embodying a similar energy both of them are uh it's not tension but they're experiencing feelings of tantric vibrations coursing through is that thoughts imagery visualization as if it is coming closer and closer into being okay this person wants to meet you and um, this person could be someone from your past like way back. But this person wants to meet you like a new flame. They want to meet. Listen, this person really wants to meet you. It's the energy of. This person is like a young. Their energy is young, a young vibration, excited. To actually meet you, see you for the first time. That news, I, I know this is new, this is new. You may meet this person at work.
person wants to meet you. Maybe there is feeling wants wanting to be intimate. Maybe someone needs to end a cycle first before they're able to make their way. And the fire sign is not really moving toward. It's not, they're contemplating taking action. They may be deciding to move. They're planning. But maybe they want you to know that they're planning. Maybe that is why they're sending you messages. Look. The eight, look it's the eight of wands and the nine of cups repeated messages that are making you happy could be songs music something that has to do with your emotions of as if this person is telling you they're going to maybe steal away from someone to move toward you this person is sending you messages of affection, affectionate messages, messages of intimacy, of love, of union, of... I feel like there's another person in the picture for this person and they may love this person as well and is, also, and is intimate with this person. They share a relationship. Um, but I feel like this person sees you as their soulmate when they look in your eyes because I feel like, as I was saying earlier, both of your energies match. Okay? Just the vibration that both of you are under, it feels very similar. Her eyes are different. I feel like both of you are able to see soulmate within each other, within each other's vibration, whatever, however you met or come across or came across each other. She is in his life or this other person because of loyalty and commitment. She is loyal to him and he's committed to her. And I feel like they made promises to each other from a long time ago. It's as if these two were friends, they got each other through tough times, you know, helped each other to pick themselves up to be better. So it's like they're the back, like a backbone for one another, really. So it's like the, that kind of a relationship where, you know, you won't, you can't really leave this person like that. They're more than just your friend. You make love with them and all these things. This person is also a guidance force, a guiding force for this person. Encouraging, um, is strong, has a great vision, helps this person to implement a plan to take action. <clears throat> this person may want to, they may motivate you in their messages that they send to you, inspire you, encourage you to be on your path. They may also help you to see under the veil, see things that are hidden, see things in the works, in the midst of things that maybe you wouldn't be able to see, maybe in society. This person may also be helping you to connect to your ancestors through the messages that they are sending you, helping you to remember who you are. It's like they're giving you this gift every day, I feel, um, just so you remember who you are. They want you to know that. Um, so there's something that this person, that you don't know about this person, can serve. And it is that they have something of yours. They possess something of yours. I don't know what it is. We could try asking. The Page of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. A message. Oh, sorry. A message. Maybe you sent this person a message an encouragement 
some inspiration like you gave this person something possibly and they're still holding on to it it is possible that you sent this person a message about a business opportunity maybe wanted to work with this person or just wanted to connect i feel like you have connected with this person before you know you've given this person something reached out to them and there's something one of those times that they decided to there was one yeah one there was one 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 sp specific one one specific message or whatever this is that you gave unto this person maybe they didn't even respond to you but this one thing it could have been a poem i don't know something written or something said and uh, this one just went directly to this person like they felt it it was a true connection and they really held on to it maybe they don't have it physically but they hold on to it energetically it helps them they hold on to it with, um to their well-being you know like pride or confidence or satisfaction or something that really touched this person that was and they do feel it was coming from a genuine place even though it was maybe immaturely done or I don't know but they feel like it was it, they they receive it well they hold on to it they see it as valuable so that's one thing that you don't know about this person that you now know I feel like this person met you out of the blue they just happened like to open their browser and up you popped cancer that's how they met you like out of the blue they just open a page and there you were like this big flyer being broadcast and then they saw you or they saw the message you were sharing or something like that and they saw that you were the fool like you didn't know really what you were doing um, but it was something that caught their attention, like a paper blowing in the wind. You have to look, even though it's something really random. It's just the freeness or the free-spiritedness behind the energy of this post or this image or this reflection really reminded them of something in them from a long time ago, maybe when they first started out. And how it feels to be on that path. And this is what first pulled them into you to make this person know that or realize that you are in fact like a true true soulmate vibration to them. I feel like they notice as they got to know you, I don't know how maybe they studied you a bit, watched, studied more of you, saw more of you the this person understood that you are coming up from a lot like this person understood you were going through your your emotions your feelings your path your journey and they felt your struggle they felt your struggle as if that's what i'm saying there's nothing new under the sun as if this person knew exactly what you're going through at the time you know they can remember when they were at that place so it's almost like they were they felt compelled to watch you like to just follow you without you knowing just to see i don't know it was it's like it is intriguing to watch you it's almost like watching themselves it was so intriguing to see you this person almost became a, a private detective following you everywhere you go and you just went ahead with your sun energy and your full vibration where you're just light-hearted high on life feeling good looking good the sun energy is success and abundance so maybe you feel you look like a success you know you can imagine that right someone looking like a success like a success in your emotions in how you feel about yourself you know radiance and this person really feels the sun the trueness the like the soul vibration in you the soulmate energy this person may think you are not their soulmate maybe they're karmic i don't know 
somebody may be walking into a trap it's almost like that question is a setup for a trap I don't know like that that question but why like it's saying use your sense your common sense I feel like this there was a separation between you two in the past maybe way way past I know you're, you're you ought to reunite because the two of cups the soulmate energy is here but it is the way in which it came out after so much trouble with the devil and the hangman It's like two people that were blocked. Maybe you lost each other in the past. I don't want to get into that. What's that? Wow, okay. He could not respond to the message because of the Queen of Pentacles. I don't know if she's always watching. He keeps it somewhere safe, okay? That no one can find. That's what he's telling himself. Okay, I am keep it's the energy of a little boy telling you he's I kept it somewhere, I put it somewhere safe, mommy. No one can ever find it. But as a mother, you know you're going to find it. And you know he probably just put it right there. I don't know why that's relevant. Sea moss heals the body by removing harmful chemicals that are caused by some foods we eat, hormones, toxic substances, and radiation from 5G from our devices. Heal your temple with the minerals of infinite oceans. Sea moss has over 90 of the 102 nutrients our body needs like copper, which creates balance and harmony. To learn more about CMOS health benefits or to order your first premium grade CMOS, email italkitchenstyle at gmail.com. I think you have had enough cancer of this. You're ready to just, just say if all of it really. I think you're ready to move, leave your past behind and head somewhere. Just, just, just leave everything you you thought you knew behind and move forward to something new, completely new, listening only to you as if you're the only person that exists on this planet. You just have to listen to your own intuition listen to the planets, listen to the divine, and let it guide you across this land. And I feel like that's something that you're about to decide to do upon hearing this, this message. Wow, I feel like you're ending up somewhere beautiful. I literally felt the energy of Dorothy in the Wizard of Oz when she came up on that mountain full of flowers just before she came to the castle, right? Maybe here you will meet someone, a soulmate, your soul family, your tribe, your family tribe. I believe that upon this journey, you're going to come up on some new relationships, new beautiful environments, and a new awareness of self of why you are who you are of having integrated certain aspects of yourself that were lost and it is because you're walking for you now instead of looking for looking to something to someone else He can't even allow himself to fall in love with you, even though he already is. I'm leaving these messages here. I feel like I'm not done.
but I've got to go so I'll see you in the next one I hope you found messages that resonates with you and is able to inspire you on your journey thank you for liking sharing and subscribing I'll see you in the next one remember that you're all and all is within you bye